I'm Bob Wemkin, and this is Joan Kemble. We are the uh, artistic co-directors of Pifaro, the Renaissance Band. We're entering our 31st season of the concert series here in the Delaware Valley, and we're opening that season with a project around the novel Don Quixote de la Mancha, written by Cervantes, exploring the musical world of that novel. The novel was replete with music and brimming over with stories about people playing instruments, people singing, there's actual songs in the, in the novel itself, with uh, some of which reference tunes, but a lot of which don't, but we know were sung at the time. Grant has done a marvelous job of taking some of the poems and the romances from the novel, for which there are no uh, tunes actually mentioned, and finding other songs and melodies from the time period and fitting the two together. So we come up with a piece of music that speaks so well to what is happening in the novel at that moment. The, the novel itself is is, as Joan mentioned, full of musical references and full of uh, names and uh, of instruments that were played in these various occasions, various moments in, in this uh, wonderful work. There is a run reference that we're not quite sure what it means. It, it's, it's a scene for, of a wedding of a rich nobleman and many musicians are there and they, they dance and they sing and they parade around with their various instruments and there's one mentioned called a Zamora bagpipe. We don't know what a Zamora bagpipe is. But this particular scene will fe be featured in our program, opening the second half, with a processional, with a sword dance, and with another very popular Spanish dance called a canario. And two of these are going to be performed on two different kinds of bagpipes that Pifaro owns. And whether they're exactly like the Zamora bagpipes, we're not sure. But we certainly are doing justice to this scene by using our bagpipes. In addition to bagpipes, then we have uh, the whole family of double reed instruments that were extremely popular in Spain at the time. The predecessor of the modern oboe English horn family, which was referred to as a chiramella in Spain, as well as the uh, predecessor of the modern bassoon, that was referred to as the bajon, the bass instrument in Spain and a large collection of flute-like instruments that uh, are sometimes referred to as flageolet, or, uh, and we know them as the members of the recorder family or very similar to the recorder. And in addition to the winds, we have a whole group of stringed instruments that were popular and, uh, and played regularly and mentioned in Don Quixote as well, including vihuelas and guitars uh, especially. And harps as well. And harps, and harp, right. The harp was extremely popular. In fact, the Spain is credited with bringing the harp to South America, and in South America it is still one of the, one of the very popular instruments of the time. We'll also be joined uh, by a, a wonderful percussionist, Glenn Velez from New York, uh, who is world-renowned for his, uh, his hand drumming, and we'll, um, we'll hear his rendition of what percussioning in that period must have been like. One of the great things about this project, which by the way has been funded very generously by the Pew Center for Arts and Heritage, is that we've been able to bring in and, and guest artists. Uh, one of the featured groups is a quartet of male singers from New York City called New York Polyphony, who have gained quite a reputation in the last five years for their, their especially their performance of sacred music. We're going to, uh, going to ask them to do a bit more than just their usual sacred repertoire, however, in this program. Some of them will be singing solos. One of them will even be uh, singing a song as Don Quixote himself. Um, and also joining us is a soprano from New York City, Nell Snydas, who is of Paraguayan descent. And she is, a, of course, and speaks fluent Spanish and also is a real, has done a lot of research into Spanish repertoire and New World repertoire. So we're delighted to have her with us as well. Charles Weaver is a very talented guitarist and vihuelist, also from New York City, who will be joining us. And uh, you will hear him a number of times in some rather virtuosic solos throughout the performance. Joining the six Pifaro uh, wind players are two uh, people that we are very happy to have with us. One 
Josep Boras, who is the director of the Musical Conservatory in Barcelona, Spain, and an expert on the um, early double reed instruments of that period, especially the bajon. He wrote his dissertation on the early bassoon in Spain. And uh, in addition, uh, a sackbut player, Eric Schmoltz from Connecticut, who will fill out the, as we call it, the loud band of shams and sackbuts and dulcians.